Welcome back now at five shockwaves through the news industry this morning with the death of legendary but controversial Roger Ailes. The creator and former chief executive of Fox News Channel passed away at the age of 77. This is not an easy day. We begin this morning with the sad news about a man who has meant so much. Fox News is Fox paying News. tribute today to a giant of broadcast news. Roger Ailes was the force behind the Fox News channel as it became America's most powerful conservative network. His 20-year reign crashed to an end last year when he was dismissed in a swirl of accusations of sexual improprieties. But while he may have left under a cloud of disgrace, he still had many loyal supporters. One by one, Fox News anchors paid tribute to Ailes and his impact on their lives. I will love you forever. You gave me an opportunity and I will forever, ever, ever be grateful. Ailes' wife Elizabeth released a statement saying, quote, I am profoundly sad and heartbroken to report that my husband, Roger Ailes, passed away this morning surrounded by his beautiful family. Roger was my best friend, the most wonderful, loving husband and father to our son, Zachary. He was a loyal friend to so many. Ailes died this morning after falling and hitting his head last week at his home in Palm Beach. According to a call log released today, there was serious bleeding after the fall, and Ailes was not completely alert after it happened. Ailes not. was born in Ohio and hit the political stage as a strategist for President Richard Nixon. He built the Fox network from scratch, giving rise to a fleet of conservative TV stars, including Sean Hannity, who tweeted, quote, Today America lost one of its great patriotic warriors. The medical examiner in Palm Beach County has ruled Ailes' death an accident. Fox News executive chairman Rupert Murdoch issued a statement saying the media giant was shocked and grieved by his passing. And Rick, you knew Roger Ailes for many years. I did. I mean, as people may or may not know, I worked for Roger Ailes for about 18 years. He was a mentor. He was the person who gave me my first break in the TV news business. I never knew the ugly side of him that so many women have described over the last year or so, and hearing all of that has been extremely disappointing for me because it was not the Roger that I knew. To me, he was loyal, supportive, he was tough and fair. It's impossible for me or anyone to think of him in only positive terms in light of his many flaws that we now know about. But it is those nice, nice characteristics of his that I would like to remember him for at least today.